Hi everyone, welcome back to Lil K Artistry. I am Kristen, the artist also known as Lil K, and this is my, my little studio buddy, Mr. Bentley. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Some of you have asked, Mr. Bentley is a Chihuini, so he is part Chihuahua and part Dachshund. And uh, I'm pretty sure that his personality is Chihuahua <laughs> because he is very stubborn. He's also extremely sweet. So I'm going to put him down and I'm going to start the video with um, abstract cellism. And you guys, I'm so excited for this. Go ahead, honey. Go and lay down in your bed. Go lay down in your bed. Good boy. Okay. So I am, I'm going to put my gloves on here. I am really excited, you guys. This has been like six months in the making. And, and this is this is not the mix video. This is one last test. This is a 12 inch canvas. I would like to try this on a 14 and a 16 inch, but I don't have any. I might have to do I might have to do over one and then I want to try it on larger canvases. I have one that I think is 18 by 20. What I want to do is get this so that I can do it on small canvases, large canvases, and the cells will stay. So what happened was I had this mix and I was using Steve Chase's abstract cellism mix. And if you go to Steve Chase, I think it's Steve Chase Art, or Chase Art, Chase Fluid Art, you can find him on YouTube. He only has two videos. He's never put out another video. I don't know why. The first video is like 20 minutes long. The second video is like 45 minutes long. He shares the entire mix, all the ratios and everything. He doesn't give a lot of, I don't want to say strategic, but it, it's it's really good as far as the mix goes. So that's the mix that I found two years ago. And I, I put it, I practiced and practiced, but it took me months to get it right. Everything was cracking. I wasn't getting the cells to stay. Then finally just something happened and I was able to do it. And I did that with the Chase Fluid Art Abstract Cellism Mix for like a year. And then all of a sudden, one of the products that I use, that Steve Chase uses, it changed. Maybe it's because I live in Maine and the product that we're getting is older. Maybe, I don't know. But I went in to talk to a gentleman who works for the company actually yesterday. And he said, nope, the product hasn't changed. We haven't changed the formula. It's exactly the same. And I said, well, when I used to get it and I would pour it, it would be like clump, clump, clump. It was like had the consistency of like really gelatinous put it and it was perfect. It was nice and thick. And now it runs it, like warm honey. It was way thinner. And he said, well, maybe you're not stirring it. I was like, dude, this is not my first rodeo. I know how to stir paint. The paint is stirred. It's totally fine. It's the mix. And he swore up and down. They haven't changed the mix. I know what I know. And I think they changed it. And this one guy didn't know. My daughter said, why don't you Google it? I haven't Googled it. Anyway, I have think I have found a replacement. The last video you saw was, it only used three colors and they were primary colors. There was a blue, a red, and a yellow, and then a black top coat. Today I'm gonna actually be using a white top coat to see what happens. So I do have two of these. These are the Chase Fluid Art top coats. There is no Australian Floetrol. This is not Australian Floetrol in this top. It's not a cell activator. There's no such thing in my opinion. It doesn't activate anything. All it is is a suspension agent for the paint in order to allow the cells to form. So having said that, this is Steve Chase's recipe for the top mix. The main mix, I had to mess around with it and I think I finally got it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is a final tester. I have a couple of shout outs though because some really exciting stuff has happened. First of all, thank you all for the prayers and the well wishes for my hands and for my joints and all that and my RA. Jury is still out on whether or not I actually have RA. Don't know more blood tests. I've, I've got the rash on my hands again. It's more like blisters and not a rash. So it's come back. I don't care. I'm so elated and happy that I'm able to do my favorite kind of art again. I don't care if I have blisters for the rest of my life on my hands. Honestly, guys, I'm, I am so stinking happy about this. I cannot even express to you how happy I am. I want to thank everyone who has been so supportive, all your kind words, all the prayers, everyone watching the videos, everyone commenting, saying you love it when I talk, you don't love it when I talk, shut up and paint, play the music, I don't like the music, whatever the comments, I appreciate all of them, so long as they're kind. 
some of the comments have been not so kind. I would appreciate it if you're going to leave a comment, just say something nice or move along and don't say anything at all. This is my safe space. This is my studio, my little corner of the art world. This channel is my safe space. It is also your safe space. And I like to keep all the negativity out of it. So if you have something that's not so nice to say, just please hold it and don't say it. Or message me privately, don't comment on the video, that's really not very nice. And again, this is a safe space and I want everyone to leave my channel happier than when they got here. That's the whole goal of my life, of my life coaching, of my business coaching, of my art, everything that I do, my house cleaning, <laughs> everything that I do, I want to leave people happier than when I found them. That is my goal in life. I believe that is my calling. That and art. <laughs> so. Another shout out, Linda from Clearwater, Florida. I think it's, hold on, let me just make sure. Linda from Clearwater, Florida. I'm not gonna say your full name because you probably don't want your full name on the video, but Linda from Clearwater, Florida sent me this beautiful card. You guys, I'm not gonna cry, I swear. This made my entire stinking year and it's November. <laughs> this is the sweetest thing. So I got this card from Linda in Clearwater. So sweet. Dear Kristen, just a small token of my appreciation. Your YouTube videos are a gift to be treasured. Thank you for sharing, Linda. And a beautiful, I mean, that card, is that not me? It's, it's, I'm pretty sure they're, are they pink? I think they're pink peonies in a, in a blue watering can. So pretty. Thank you, Linda. And Linda sent me a Michael's gift card. So sweet. You know what she wrote on it? This is gonna make me cry. She said, thank you, go make the art, which is what I say at the end of all of my videos. Oh, I'm not gonna cry, I swear. Thank you so much. This is the sweetest thing. This is the sweetest thing, even if it was just the card. This is the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for my art and my art journey. It's the sweetest thing ever. And you are going to be getting something in the mail from the young lady. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda from Clearwater. You guys made my whole year. I made my whole year. I'm so delighted, I'm not gonna cry. Okay, on to the painting. <laughs> you probably fast forwarded all of that stuff and now you're, <laughs> you're gonna see the painting. I'm so sorry. I'm being very silly. I am giddy, can you tell? And I've not had any coffee today, surprisingly. These, these next five colors that I'm going to use, I'll tell you what they are. I'm using all golden fluid acrylics. They are all used with the new mix. I have not shared the new mix yet. I am going to. I want to do one larger piece so that I know it will work before I give you the mix and then you guys can all go out there and do this too. Okay, I'm starting with Naples Yellow. I did put a tiny bit of titanium white in this to lighten it up a little bit because I did want it a little bit lighter. The other videos and the other ones that I've done that were testers, I was just kind of dumping the paint out with a cup. I prefer using these squirt bottles because it puts less paint on the canvas and I don't need very much. You'll see, that's one of the things I love about this style of art. You do not need very much paint at all. I love it. There's not hardly any waste. And if you did, it, this is just a puppy pad, by the way, training pad, and I cut it to, to fit my my spinner, and this is the spinner that I made, and down below in the description is the video, video number 89, you can make this spinner too if you want, it's 24 inches. If you wanna not use a pad, and just use a spinner, you can just scrape any excess off and then save it, which is what I will be doing. I had this pad on here for some of the other styles of painting that I was doing when I wasn't scraping it off, because there wasn't anything to scrape off. But now that I'm back doing my favorite, favorite form of fluid art again, my abstract cellism, I will likely be scraping the extra off and storing it in a tub to use just as a base coat for later pieces. Because I love doing that. I love saving saving the extra the extra paint. There are a number of artists out there, really talented, amazingly beautiful creations. Follow them. Just find fluid art on you can go specifically and find them. If you want to follow Rinsky Danya, if you want to follow Olga Sobi, uh, Molly from Molly's Artistry, there's Willie B from Willie B Studios. She does the cloud pours. Oh my gosh, Winterstrom art. There are so many. I know I'm not naming all of the ones that I follow because I follow like 70 artists on YouTube. I'm subscribed to them all. 
but a lot of them do a style of painting that is like you're putting a lot of paint on the canvas and then swiping and then tilting and what they're doing is they're tilting so much of that paint off of there i just can't i can't do that it's unless there was some way to save it and maybe they are saving it i don't know it's too, it's too wasteful for me i don't like the waste that's just who i am i don't like the waste I'm just going to spin this a little bit, see if I can flatten that out. Just a tiny bit. Another thing, now that I have thankfully discovered the new mix that is allowing me to do this, my focus has been right on this, you guys, because I really wanted to fix this for you so that I could share it, so that you would know the recipe, because I'm sure some of you are having the same frustrations that I am with the, the chase mix. I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you're getting better ingredients than I am, but I've been getting so frustrated that I couldn't make this art. It was really bothering, like ma making me really sad because I love this style of art. But now that I'm able to do that, I'm, focus, I'm able to focus on some of the other things that I want to do. And you'll notice in some of my videos, you've seen me comment in the description and also I've mentioned it in the video it's something called beyond the canvas and that is going to be a monthly subscription that I'm going to be offering it's going to be minimal it'll be less than ten dollars a month and it's I'm trying to start a community you guys a community of women possibly men too like-minded artistic whether you just enjoy art or you like creating art positive upbeat people who are looking to connect, maybe do some art, share some tips, and a bunch of other things. But it's, it's also going to be art, but it's also going to be beyond the canvas. It's going to be beyond art. And I wanted to make sure that I mention that again because I will be launching that in 2025, which is just a few short weeks away. As I record this, there are literally 26 days until Christmas. I'm sorry, 36 days until Christmas, 36 days. That means there are less than 50 days in 2024. And then it will be 2025 and one quarter of the century will be gone. Can't believe I just said that. Okay, that is the base coat. It does not need to go to the edges because when I spin it off, it will end up in the edges. I am gonna start with a dark, I'm gonna go darkest to lightest, I think. Darkest to lightest. Okay, that was Naples, Naples, Naples yellow with a little titanium white to lighten it up. This is my favorite purple, which is dioxazine purple. Dioxazine purple is yummy. I love it. It's pretty dark. Okay, dioxazine purple, and this is quinacridone magenta. Again, these are all golden fluid acrylics. I'm not using any tube paints here at all. This is quinacridone magenta, one of my favorite pinks. And I like pink, you guys. This one is ooh, so pretty. It's a deep, like a bluish pink. And you see, I'm not very, I'm not putting very much color on here either. And this is also golden fluid, and this is manganese blue. This is a bright blue. And then last but not least, my favorite blue, Prussian. And this is Golden Fluid. And guys, the Golden Fluid acrylics come in different sizes. So this is the 16 ounce. This is the eight ounce. This is the four ounce. And this is the two ounce. And I just realized, I don't think I moved my camera. Can you guys see that? Hold on. I boo-booed again. Can you see the... Oh, you can't see the canvas very well. I am going to zoom in. Hold on. There. Oh, my goodness. I'm such a terrible videographer, you guys. Okay. All right. So now you can see the canvas. Okay. So you can see I put the Naples yellow down, a little bit of the... Actually, I'm going to put a tiny bit more of the dioxazine purple, just because it's so pretty. It is darker though, and I don't want to darken this painting up very much. 
Okay, that's the dioxazine purple. I put the quinacridone magenta. Then this light blue is a manganese blue. And then this is Prussian blue. And see, I'm just kind of sprinkling it around there. I want to put a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit more. There we go. Now, you can see that there is a lot of the base color that's showing, right? And that's by design. I want it that way. Okay. Now, that the base coat, as you saw, and the colors, all the same mix. Base coat and the colors, all the same mix. This is the top layer. It is a different mix. This is just one colored paint, and this is titanium white. And it's it's intended to be put in this mix that is just a different viscosity and it helps create the cells because it brings it sinks it helps the pigments to sink so that those cells are created and that's what we want we want some good cells the next thing we do is apply pressure and i'm going to use a hair dryer this is a pretty good size, pretty strong, powerful hair dryer. It is loud, I apologize. And I'm just going to push down, apply some pressure, and then I'm going to spin it out and we'll watch some magic. just looks like a big mess right but you watch cells are forming see them I hope you can see those cells forming the problem that I had before with the product that was in the mix that wasn't working these cells were forming really beautifully like <laughs> like they are now and then they were disintegrating they were just melting back into the paint as it dried and that was not good now i'm going to spin see if we can stretch some of these cells a little bit and maybe make some more form and i'm also also i want the rest of that white to spin out because that top layer is a little bit thinner than the rest of the paint so it will move faster See, now it's the white top layer is closer to the edges now. You can see. I'm going to spin one more time and then I'm going to do a little edge work. Now, when I first blew this out, there were no cells. It just looked like a pasty white on top of all that messed up color. Now, as I slow this down, you will be able to see all those gorgeous cells that have formed. See them all? Aren't those beautiful? Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> okay, I got oh, You guys, oh, this makes my brain go all fuzzy. If only I could speak to Steve Chase and let him know what his artwork and his videos have done to completely transform my life. Okay, I'm gonna do one more spin. Now there's some in the center that are forming. I'm gonna do one more spin, see if I can get these corners to spin off a little bit more. Maybe a tiny bit more pressure. Oh, <laughs> you guys, I'm losing my mind. It has literally been six months since I have been able to do this. And it's like, I'm trying to describe the feeling 
I, you, okay, you guys are going to think I'm really weird for saying this. I, I'm going to give you a little backstory before I say this. Some of you have watched my videos, you know a little bit about my story and how I came to start doing fluid art. It was literally my therapy. I had gone through a very traumatic experience. And if any of you are familiar with uh, tra uh, trauma, or specifically in my case, narcissistic abuse, then you will be a, you'll be able to understand why you know therapy is extremely important to get through something like that. And in the very beginning of my art journey, I was I was in a really dark place, and and I had. I'm probably oversharing, but like I said, I want this to be a safe space and I'm trying to build a community of supportive, supportive people here. And I feel like when you share more people are more, feel more comfortable with you and are more apt to share themselves and, and more apt to be open and friendly and whatnot and experience things that are happy and wonderful. So this is why I'm sharing. So I went through this really difficult time in the beginning of my of my therapy and my therapist suggested art. She didn't say what kind, she just said paint your feelings. And I went onto YouTube, because I'm not an artist, I don't have any training. And this was, I was 52 at the time, I'm 54 now. And no art training except high school, and that was a few years ago. And I found these videos of fluid art, I found Winsky Downia and I found Chase Fluid Art. And I fell right in love with it. And it was the very beginning of my healing with my narcissistic abuse situation. And it was this type of, I would come in here every day and I would cry and I would pray and, and I would, you know, all the feelings that you feel, the shame, the embarrassment, the, the blame, all of that. I would, I would sort through all of that in front of my spinner and with these paints and with this style of painting in particular. So when I wasn't able to do it anymore, I was searching for something and I found all those wonderful ways of painting. Coming back to this, oh, you guys, it's like, oh, trying not to lose it here. It's like coming back to an old friend, an old, you know, a supportive, wonderful, beautiful friend. That's what this is. That's, that's what this is for me. And this, so this is really emotional. I apologize if this makes you guys uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable, but this is really emotional for me. And I have done a couple of these and I didn't cry. <laughs> But I didn't talk through it and talking through it and kind of sharing and explaining to you guys why this is so important to me. Uh, it's very emotional. So <laughs> having said that, are you seeing this? <laughs> are you seeing this? Oh, you guys, this is... Oh. Hello, old friend. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Oh my goodness, all of these multicolored cells. And this, I don't know if you can see these purple ones here in the corner. They're purple, pink, yellow, there's some green. You, I didn't put any green on here, so the yellow and the blue have mixed. And, and they're, so there's one cell, and there's a whole bunch of little cells inside of it, and that one cell is a whole bunch of tiny little cells, and they're all kind of elongated. And then you get these one, this one cell that just has multiple colors in it. And then these tiny cells that have multiple colors. Oh, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I promised myself I wouldn't cry and I failed miserably. I'm going to come over there and I'm going to zoom you guys in so that you can see this close up. I want to show you all the incredible detail. i to turn off that overhead light. Oh, I'm so sorry. My nose is running now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's let's zoom in and see this beautiful. Oh my goodness! Do you see? Oh, 
Let me see if I can find some of those elongated ones. Oh, they're way up there. Shoot, they're way up there. Okay. See those purple guys way up there in the corner? See how they're... Look, like there's one, one purple cell, and then there's a whole bunch of little cells inside of it. And then that one there, too. And then look at all the little orange ones. And those purple ones and the blue ones. And oh my goodness. And the middle. Oh, you guys. This is mm, putting my brain in a really good space right now. Look at those. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom back out again so I can talk to you guys for a second. Come back. Mm -hmm. Whoa, hope I didn't just make you guys all dizzy right there. I'm so sorry. Okay. I, zoom, I zoomed out awfully quick with that. I apologize for that if I made you all dizzy. I hope that you enjoyed this. I apologize. With the, I got a little emotional there. It's just, that's what this does for me. I don't, I don't know if any of you experience that when you're painting, but because I know where I was mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually when I started this journey. And this was such an important friend when I, I had none, I had, I had no friends. And I, I could always count on this. I could come in here once I got the recipe, once it was like ding, 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 I did it. Once I did, and this actually, this one I've shown you before, this is the last one. This is the last piece of abstract cellism that I did that worked. And this was a year, almost eight, nine months ago. This was the last one. I have been chasing this experience for a while now. And this, this is, this one used a black top coat instead of the white. So I, I really am loving the watercolor look and how light and airy and fluid this painting is. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you will consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Again, Linda from Clearwater, you're an angel. Thank you so much. You made my entire, my entire week, my entire year. That was the sweetest thing ever. And I'm still kind of pinching myself. <laughs> my daughter was in the car with me when I opened it. She's like, who's that? <laughs> and then I opened it up and I read the card. It's just like, um, what? what? <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> wow. Someone actually, someone actually took the time to hand write a card and put it in the mail, put a stamp on it and a gift card for Michael's and tell me to go make the art. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, and you're going to get something in the mail from me, young lady. <laughs> but you have to message me and tell me what your favorite color is. <laughs> if I don't already know. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, thank you so, so much. Give a shout out in the comments. Let me know from where in the world you're watching. Let me know what you think of this piece. It is developing even more as I'm standing here talking to you. There are more tiny cells that have formed inside the big cells. I cannot wait. I <laughs> I cannot wait for this to dry. Oh, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful and grateful for all of you and for this. If you have an interest in my product that's coming out, it'll be a monthly subscription. Like I said, it'll be less than $10 a month. It'll be starting sometime in the new year beyond the canvas. I've been hinting at it for several months now. If you're interested in knowing more, drop a comment, send me an email, lilkartistry at gmail.com. I'm on Facebook at lilkartistry. You can message me there. I'm on Instagram at lilkartistry. I'm on TikTok at lilkartistry. And obviously I'm here as well. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for watching and for all your support. There are great things coming wonderful, great, exciting things coming. I'm so glad to have you on this journey with me. So this is little K once again reminding you, go make the art. <laughs>